Hi everyone, my name is Temi. Um, I work for Detailer as tech support. Um, today we're going to be going through the Grower app, how to set your battery to force charge. If you've got a, a grower system, and that would be very useful if you are on the Octopus Go or Economy 7 or any tariff that allows you to charge or pull energy from the grid at a lower rate, maybe at like 7p or 10p per kilowatt. It's really straightforward. It's something you can do on yourself on the Shine Phone app, which basically shows you how the system is working. So if you open up the Shine Phone app, some of you might be already be logged in. If you're logged in already, that's fine. You don't need to sign out and log back in. If you're not logged in, just, just input in your username and your password and that should take you to the dashboard. And on the dashboard, you can see, obviously, the activity. You can see what your panels are generating, what's going to the battery, what's going to your, towards your load, and what's been exported to the grid. And on that screen, you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom, where you will see my device list and the serial number of your inverter. Then just click on that, and that will take you to the next screen, where you will see events control and edit at the bottom of your screen once you've selected control it will take you to a list of different things you can change or program your system to do but what we're doing today is to program this battery to force charge from the grid just the battery settings some of the other things you see on there i wouldn't advise you to go into because it might really affect how your system performs so what we're changing is just the bat first so the password to change the battery settings is grow up with the date backwards. So you input the password grow up and the date backwards. Today is the 25th, so it's gonna be so it's going to be grow up 2022 10 25. So again, grow up with the date backwards. Alright, so on the back first page, so this is what you will see, the different options and the, the current parameters has been set for the batteries so the first line so the first thing you'd see is the charging power so the charging power currently is set to 100 percent so that means the battery will charge at a rate of 100 percent so if your battery's maximum charge rate is three kilowatts the battery will charge at three kilowatts if the maximum charge rate is five kilowatts the battery will charge at five kilowatts stop charging soc that will be the percentage when you want the battery to stop charging currently set at 100 percent so that basically means when the battery battery reaches 100 percent it stops charging so again if you want the battery to the charge so maybe 50 percent or 70 percent you can just click on this and it will it will allow you to input the percentage you want the battery to charge to next you can see ac charge on or off so currently the that is disabled so that means the battery is not programmed to charge from the grid at the moment so if you want to change that you just click on disable it will give you two options so currently it's on disable you just click enable and that should allow you to charge from the grid next is to set the time period so you can see three time periods on the screen so you're going to take one of the time periods and input the time to set the battery to charge so currently you can see the battery is set to charge from 12.30 to 4.30. That time slot normally is the charge period if you have Octopus Go, which allows you to charge from 12.30 to 4.30 at the off-peak rate. To change that time, say you want to change it, once you click on the start time box, it will give you the options to change the time. You just have to scroll through the different dates and different time to select the time you want the battery to charge. To set the finish time when you want the battery to stop charging again you click on this end time box and then you scroll through to select the time you want the battery to stop charging as you can see there is a box in front of the time period that says disable so even though we've set the battery to charge by turning the ac charge on the time slot currently is disabled to enable that time period click on the disable box select enable and that should enable the time period if you are wondering if you have to change the time period every day, the answer is no. You just have to change it once and set it once and it would always force charge your battery within that time slot every day until you disable the function. Once you've made all these changes, select done 
and that should take you back to the list of things you can change with the system and it should also say parameters set successful which means the change has been done I can now show you how to do it on the desktop so if you log into your desktop with the same password you used to get into your shine phone it will take you to the dashboard and on the dashboard immediately you see the power flow you see how your system is working you see what you're generating what's going to the battery what's going to your load and what you're exporting to the grid what you're importing so just how the system is working really but to force charge the battery if you scroll down to the bottom of the screen to where it says my photovoltaic devices so where it says my photovoltaic devices um, you're gonna see settings in front of it so you click on settings and when you click settings it might pop up with a disclaimer that basically say obviously you know what you're doing and anything you change in the settings might affect how your system performs but again we're just changing the battery so there's nothing too complicated and it should be nice and straightforward so yes we're gonna accept the disclaimer i'm gonna click yes so now we're on the next next window um so what you would see is you will see your, obviously your device serial number just information about your system and then you've got command that's basically what you can program your system to do so in the command you can see you've got grid first grid first means you just want to program your battery to export to the grid so there's some tariff like the octopus um, module what you can export and get paid more for what you export so at that times you know you could set your system to export to the grid but that's not what we want to do we want to program the battery to charge from the grid so we're going to go down to what it says battery first solar only backup again just like the phone app version you can see charge power rate uh currently that's 100 so that just means the battery is going to ch get charged at the rate of 100%. So if you've got like a three kilowatt inverter, it will charge at three kilowatts. And again, you can change that rate. If you wanted to charge maybe at 50% rate, that battery that's got three kilowatt charge rate will charge at 1.5 kilowatts. And then again, we've got the charge stop SOC. So again, that's the percentage where we want the battery to stop charging. Currently it's on 100%. So that means the battery is gonna get fully charged before it stops charging. Again, you can set that to about 40%, 50%, 80%, whatever value you want. And when it gets to that point, the battery will stop charging. And to enable that function, we just have to go on to AC charge. Currently is on off, so we're gonna click on that. And in the drop down menu, simply select on, and that will enable that AC charge. And now we have to set the time slot we want the battery to, to force charge. So currently is on, zero 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 to zero 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 so that means it's not currently set so we're going to set the time to charge from 12 30 to 4 30 and that is i believe that is the time period for the octopus go um, what you get a cheaper rate from 12 30 to 4 30 and make sure you've put in the correct time format you've got zero zero three zero as 12 30 because if you put one twelve as three zero as 12 30 that'll be 12 30 in the afternoon and your battery will charge from noon so you don't want to do that you want to charge it from midnight which is 0030 so just be aware of that um, switch that to on so with the desktop version as well i believe you get six time time slots so again you can set different time slots for different times you want the battery to force charge from the grid so if you've got like a off you know like a tariff where you get cheaper rate about two or three different times in a day you can set the batteries to charge at those different times of the day with just time slots again just a few more tips so basically also with the battery if you've got like a, if you've got a 6.5 kilowatt battery or a 6 kilowatts or 5 kilowatts you might not want the battery to charge you know because uh, obviously four hours and let's say the battery charge rate is uh three kilowatts essentially a six kilowatt battery will get charged in two hours so you might not want to set it from 12 30 to 4 30 you could just set it from 12 30 to 2 30 and that is two hours the battery will get charged in two hours so when it's forced charging you're going to be using everything from the grid so when you set it right to, to, to stop charging at 2 30 then you can use the battery from 2 30 onwards to 12 30 the next morning so again obviously it depends on how you use the system so once you switch it to on now you just have to save it to save it it's going to ask you for 
for a key. It says, please enter key to save. So again, just like the app, the key is grow up with the dates backwards. So it would be, so today is the 25th. So the key for today would be grow up 2022, 10, 25. So again, grow up with the date backwards. And once you've entered the key in, you can now click yes. So once you click yes, it should then give you a little message that says successful. That just means everything has been set and is all done. And you know, now your battery has set a force charge within that time period. So just to check over again. So if we're going to settings again, click yes to the disclaimer, and then go all the way down to where it says back first. You can see that AC charge is on, time slot is set and that is on as well. So now the battery will force charge in that time period when you've got a cheaper rate. So that is how you change the setting of the battery for it to force charge from the grid. If there's any other tutorials you would like to see on our channel, just leave a comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe. This has been Temi, thank you for watching. I hope you find this video very helpful. 